Hello everyone, Freddy from AWOL Studios and today I'm actually going to make a tutorial video for very new people or somebody who is having a hard time killing an enemy while playing animations, making it look smooth and all that cool stuff. So if you're watching this, I am going to assume that you've created a character, you set up the pawn sensing, you set up the AI and blueprints, they're chasing after you. Now, how the hell do you kill them? And how do you get to play an animation with a sound and, let's say, a effect like blood, then have them die, disappear, and all that cool stuff. So, for this video, I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to shoot my buddy Frank. Alright, I'm going to just straight up shoot him. So, Frank is over there, uh, but I got a fireman. So for this video, I slowed down the animation a lot so that I can actually go over this. So now if I shoot the fireman, he's going to play an animation. Now he's dead. I shot the cop and blood came out the moment that my bullet hit him. So I'm going to pop a cap in him. So I shot all of them. They're dead. I got the animation to trigger the sound and I detach the AI controller. So how do we do this? So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go into my buddy Frank. Now, if you guys need help with your animations to get them to even come after you, just let me know in the comment section and I will make a video for you. The whole entire process will take about 20 to 35 minutes, but I will do it for you. So I'm going to go to Frank and I'm going to open up Frank's blueprint. So, what I'm doing essentially, and I'm going to show you the script first, I have to get a component to register my bullet hitting him to trigger all of this. Okay? So, I'm going to leave this right here and I'm going to go into viewport. So, here's my character. Here's, here's Frank. Now, I made the capsule bigger so that you guys could see it right away. So, when you start, you're going to have your capsule component that's inherited and you're going to have your mesh which is Frank. You need to add the component if you type the word collision I strongly recommend to use the capsule collision it wraps the character better so if I wanted to let's say now that I'm here let, let's scale this down a little bit Oop, a little bit too much let's just try to get it to where it really wraps Frank very well. And let me just see. Uh, a little too big. Move it up a little bit. Want it right at his feet. Pretty much center mass. Okay. So, scaling it, I will leave that up to you. But once you make it, name it whatever it is that you want to name it. Then you want to go back into your event graph. Find any empty space on your grid. Anything. So, what you do and how you get all of this is you click your capsule collision, you highlight it, and then you come to your details panel all the way at the bottom, and you're going to hit on component hit. For me, I already have it. It's right here. So, if I hit it again, it's going to just jump right back there, and it should say on component hit, and then the name that you named it, which mine is RW. So once you get that, you want to drag out the execute, and you literally want to type cast to whatever your bullet name is. So mine is impact, okay? So it's going to cast to my impact bullet. Now I'm just going to delete that really quick, and I'm going to reconnect it really, really quick, okay? So once you get your cast to your bullet, you want to connect the execute and the other actor to the object. I'm just going to compile that before I forget then once you have this part you want to drag out the execute from your bullet and you want to drag it out and type the word play animation so play animation it is going to be a mesh so play animation mesh which should look just like this so you're going to get that the target is already going to draw from your mesh character so you don't have to worry about you know doing that 
if whatever reason it doesn't come up with this automatically attached no big deal drag it from your top left and then connect it to the target if that doesn't do it automatically for you depending on what unreal engine you're using i'm using the 4.19 the latest one so once you have your animation and if you don't have let's say an animation for your character but you've made one i would strongly recommend that you upload it to mixamo mixamo whatever the hell you call it get the animation import it use the correct skeleton for this character because if you don't it will not work whatever it is you name it you could type it right in here and now it will call that animation if you want to play a sound like hey I shot him he roared or screaming whatever it is that you want for whatever game that you want you literally want to drag it out and literally type the word play sound at location literally play sound at location you do that you get this you pick your sound wave whatever it is that you want and once that's done from play from sound you want to drag out execute and you want to get detach from controller pending destroy detach if you literally play de excuse me <clears throat> if you literally type detach it should literally come up right away it's right here and that's going to give you this. Now, let me stop right here and go back. So once my bullet hits Frank's collision box, Frank is going to die. He's also going to play the animation of him dying. He's also going to play a sound. Then we're going to detach the controller. This is extremely important because if you do not detach the controller, you can kill Frank. He'll play the animation, he'll play the sound, but you're going to notice that he's going to still crawl after you, it's like sliding on the ground, when he's dead. Because you still have the pawn sensing, and the AI doesn't know, hey, stop moving. So when you detach it, it simulates a realistic death. What I do is I run a delay. This whole in section here, you do not need if you do not want it. I recommend to do it. So let's say you're making a major zombie game and you have a horde of zombies. The more you leave on the level, the more AI has to process and it just can create some errors and bugs and things like that. So I recommend to drag off the execute and run a delay. 25 seconds is a good time. Then once 25 seconds are done... I'm going to call the event to destroy the actor and he's going to disappear off the level. So literally you would drag it out, type the word delay, literally delay. You would get this note, set your timer, drag this out and literally just type destroy actor. You're going to need to get a reference to yourself. So that's real easy. Go to target, type the word self and you're going to get this one right here. So that is pretty much how you do it. So when I shoot Frank, he's going to make a moan, and then Frank is going to die. Now, people are going to say that you, you can make it with uh, health, and every time your bullet hits it, it'll do an X amount of damage, and you could do all the variables to that. That's all cool. If you guys really want me to make a video to kind of show you, like, I don't know, 100 hit points on an enemy before he dies, sure. I'll make it for you. Just let me know in the comment section. But if you just want to make it where it's a one hit or quitter, this is definitely the best, cleanest way to go. So I'm just going to go back here. And I'm going to go to Frank. Because I'm going to say I want, uh, I want blood on Frank. So if you have the physical material, which I do. Oh, can't spell. Blood. I'm going to hit blood. And then I'm going to click the uh, collision. So if a hit is happening, it's going to spawn the blood wherever I hit Frank. So I'm just going to compile. And then I'm going to save. And then I'm going to go kill my friend Frank again. So let's go find Frank. Frank is right there. And let's go shoot Frank. So Frank's right there. Oh, I missed something. 
Hey, Frank. Get off me. Get off me. Hey, Frank. See you later, Frank. Now, I shot Frank. He's dead. He's laying right there. He's not moving. Got a cop. And you see the plug came out of him. So he's dead. Some cops behind me. So, hey. Let me show you this really quick. So you see what's happening here? He kept playing the animation. See that? That's because I didn't wrap the uh, collision box as tight as I should. Which, that's something you guys are going to have to play around with. Or go into the collision presets and, and change it. Um, I would recommend to run a custom one. And now, if you guys don't know how that all works, just let me know and um, I'll answer it. So... He's dead. Shot him. He's dead. And I got the sound. And I got the blood coming out. So I'm just going to come up here really quick. And I got some crawlers. He's dead. See ya. And uh, this is Token, everybody. And Token's coming after me. And Token's dead. So yeah, I hope this helps, and if you have any questions, just let me know. Freddie from Manuel Studios, thank you very much.